up on the CT side to start things off. Fury up. There's a half that could win you this particular map up. It would be the T half. So let's see them press forward onto Dawn and try and get this opening start up for their own right. They lost the pistol in the previous map up. Let's see whether this one will be the contrast. Stewie trying to look for that first frag. One player with his back turn. Case are on you. Those two kills that he's holding back in the back lines. Gets one frag. A goosh on towards on a second player, but not enough to get the kill towards him. So Case Serato can triple up overall. And now he'll be left in a one versus four. A good pace coming through from Furia, just getting those glocks up close and personal, and Case Serrano just doing his own thing on those entries. Three kills overall, ah. Naf on rotate out from Secret. A perfect start in from Furia. Yeah, great opener for them, and, and you mentioned how the uh, pistol win percentages have gone against them in the course of Pro League. Liquid. One that will go away against their favor here, so Naf might look for exits, might lose and just take some of that Kevlar away. Can't see anything too significant in the terms of the uh, clutch itself, however. So for Fury up. In the case of winning that pistol and again getting off on the right start. And including the start we had out in Inferno, Liquid in the round two breaks have not had a very easy time at all. Two wins and nine losses when they've been able to lose pistol and win that second round. So you start wondering to yourself, what is going to be the change up going into this second with this force buy? We'll scout in for Fallen will be coming out. I'm seeing the legal for Elige as well. UMP in a second scout for Stewie. So double snipers already. I don't think we saw much of that during the first map. So a bit of a change of pace from Liquid. And trying something a bit more unique. And for Fury, no SMGs coming out to this second round. So no real farm potential. Possibly just knowing to themselves, we need to convert. We need to keep pressure on. AKs towards the outside, Fallen Scout trying to hold on for position. Just looking off to the left here, the garage entrance, hoping that someone makes their way out past the red box. He does land a tag on Yuri. Great timing, great shot, great stuff so far. Not going to continue his way forward here, try and catch this player off. Meanwhile, walk out towards Ram, going to give Nath a bit of a kill in the first man and that second. Okay, hold on. Force in best going well to get the man advantage. Trades involved for Case Serato, but his teammates are so low and Art's going to fall for it. Elise now looking for the bomb carrier and he gets it as well. Oh no. You talk about how the conversions have looked awkward for Liquid, but they look fantastic in this one. Jeez, what is going on there with Furia? Missed Util outside that Fallen just gets an easy tap with the scout, get the tag in, and then even just, how are they not trading NAF one for one? In that sort of situation, nine times out of 10, you're getting the first drop and picking up the kill onto NAF, and instead it just goes completely the other way. They take so much damage, at least then wrapping in out from lobby position, getting away with a couple of kills with that Deagle, and Liquid bounce back instantly. Back in Fury instantly as well. Fast up for Case Row with his Tech 9 desperate to get a kill in. He doesn't get anything out for it. Vinny can. Finding Grim in the two for one. Stu is still on top of the hut. Not being detected so far from the T side line. Art caught on the outside. Naf gets his spray down. Stu can land his kill. Fury 1v4. Dropped in a pump by the CT forces and really shouldn't have much left in this particular round. Nice out for Stewie, in fact, trying to go for a bit of a cheeky play. Ultimately, it doesn't work out for him as Naf closes it down. Two to the start now for Liquid. A good anti-rush nades coming out to the hut position and just the awareness for Liquid that it's going to be something quite pacey. Up from top hut, they've just got eyes locked. The crossfire is coming through and Furia, they, they can't get out. They can't even put themselves into positions of creating space on that upper bomb site and opening some sort of jewels. Instead, it's just a mow down. And for Fury up, they won pistol. Now they've lost a couple in a row. And for Liquid, this could be them finding some early form on this city basis. Oh, Fallen, continuing the flags and impressive stuff for Stewie as well, following suit with the SMG, two kills to his name. And a great MP9 sequence during the CT half and the CT conversions over on the first map. And we'll continue to do the same right here with the AKs of Elise chiming in, the M4 of Grim doing the same. And a 3-1 start for Liquid as we transition into the gun round. Fury with a full AKs and a Galil. Oh, we haven't seen Nuke come through for Liquid at all in the Pro League. We did see it, however, when it came to IM Cologne. They picked it up against the big side where they put 13 rounds up, had T side of seven rounds, and up against Mouse Sports as well. That was another one of the performances where eight on the CT, eight on the T. You start to wonder what the balance is going to be like for Liquid moving forward. Fury with another quick play. This time Stu is caught off guard. Art with the kill. Burns a little bit. Damage done to Vinny in the back lines. Grim catches Art back to four versus four. And finds Case Arato and Vinny. All sorts of bad fire kills. A 
Alondra, an ace for Grimm. The Reaper's alive as Liquid came for. Oh my goodness, what is that? That's the first ace from Liquid in the group stage. What a hold to come through from Grimm. You're having a look at Vinny out from heart and thinking to yourself, ah, oh, he might get one, he might get two. He's going to get traded. He did not get traded at all. What a hold for the M4 and Liquid. They are just styling on them at this point. Well, what was the encouraging start has all gone awry for Furia. And man, the Liquid look confident. I know it's not a top 10 team in the world they're facing, but I wouldn't want to be any of those squads in the playoffs wanting to face Liquid at this moment. Yes, they might not top the group, but they look scary. And if they channel this, this level of confidence and this level of performance into the playoff stage, this could be a deep run from these guys. The best I've seen Liquid look in a long time. Nades on. Gary caught back by Grimm, adding more to his kill count. Vinny does find a knife kill on the leash going for the vent dive. And that bomb's still to make its way into the B site. Now, if it's still in dark, it's going to try to cut them off. I just got to try and make sure that that bomb is not going down and that any more picks are coming through. Now for this lower bomb site, hasn't really given away his position. Case Rider's got out to that observation window. What can they do with it, though? Naf drops the bomb. And Grimm finds Vinny all on Caserato out towards observation window. And all the CTs are basically surrounded this position. They're just going to mop up what remains of the Furious side. Claim five up for Liquid. This is dominant and it continues to look dominant following suit from that Inferno. Yeah, okay, Serato is just hoping for anything at this point. Another pick. They can be happy with the damage they've done so far. A Legion's doing a drop. A knife even coming through for Vinny to give himself the extra kill bonus of 1,500. AK being picked up. Time is low. Does he just save onto the AK? And Kevlar is also an option. Probably what he goes for here. Two seconds and no real way you can make this back. Haven't. Seen a CT extension to the Econ, so it'll keep the weapon in check. It will affect his money line to a certain extent. You can watch this Grimace one more time as well, just for good measure, in case you missed it. Furia. Shut down round that keeps him even further suppressed, and Liquid just brimming of confidence, really and truly. A fantastic set in front of them with the CT half. Furia, back up on the guns at least. Can they change their fortunes? It's just looking at the money as well. The CT side, there's so much money in the bank for them to start working with. McCree going to come through for Vinny. Now, thinking about making an aggressive move. Some early util to an upper bomb site here for Furia. They haven't quite committed with it as of yet. And of course, Stewie off the heart. And he's still up here. Nades on from Grimm. Damage being done to Art and Case Serato. Nicely done. Continuing the burst fire. The M4 in the bat lines. Played his position so well so far. Case Serato keeps. Looking with his eyes on. Fire back, flash forward of the CT players, and Vinny almost isolated Fallen's shoulder, but couldn't capitalize and get the full kill. Now, with that smoke going down, he now knows that he's got ramp all to himself. He spotted one player out from Ben, deals with him straight away. That's one frag. Flashing out a closed vent. So I'm going to force his players back into a position. A flashbang timed well from Gary. That was Vinny. Two kills on the site. Not still aware of a series position, so he trades it to a three versus three. Looks back at Marshmallow with smoke back down. Yuri could get caught. Footsteps heard as the Orb of Fallen starts firing through that smoke. Can't get a secondary pick. Oh, Stewie's actually going back after the top of heart. You wonder if Yuri are going to start checking this again. They don't have a molly to put it down. And for Liquid, they might start driving them away out for a vent dive or into ramp. And he made noise on the drop down. He did not make noise for the reface. Grary stuck in behind them, though. How's he done that? No ideas at all. It's just like that, the whole round falls apart for Liquid. Furia, all sneaky beaky like. Oh, that is sneaky. Getting the knife in, following up with a double, and that's going to put a smile on their faces. Great play in from Gary. And for Liquid, just no idea about that play whatsoever. Knife's in headshot, and it seems like that backstab has gotten Furia their second. So positional advantage in this round, not even we saw it. Furia at long last gets something back at this. Felt like they had to put a lot behind that round to really get it together, though. Must have been, what, the silent drop down from heaven? 
That I must have so. how it got in. Yeah, that's a, that's a difficult jump to hit to not make any sound cue like that. On fifth, still up for Liquid. Still three rounds separate. Still control on Fury up. Back up with the guns, trying to see if they can do some amount of damage. Molotovs running away at Naf as they force him off position. Same with a bit of damage done to Elige. Counter nades in from the Team Liquid side, which try to stop the rushes once again, but they still have the rifles on the site itself. Fury up. Smokes on, Molotov's back. Looking like another up hit to come in relatively quickly, but they're still spread out towards the default, and they will burn Stewie quite heavily here. Uh, just waiting to see if that volley was actually going to spread out to his position, and he just takes so much damage. A couple of bullets through the smoke, and he's done. Fallen looking for a trade back up from Ramp. Liquid, they lose the first disadvantage. Yeah, open up for Fury uh, much earlier in the round, and the man advantage for the execution. Grim still held to the back here. Count they counteract him this time. Not for Gary, at least dropping that bomb. Case Serato is closer. Gets his responsive frag, and now two players up in heaven. Set now with a third player actually on the retake. Krieg sees fallen. Sprayers gets it together. Vinny capitalizes on the second kill as well. Now with one responsive scene up there in the rafters, and Vinny makes it a triple. As Fury up, find their form again. Now, just the rotators getting caught off, all in the same position out from heaven, and Fury are just with eyes on, not getting sleeping at all. And for Liquid, money's getting to a state now where there's actually not really a lot of it. They're going to have to eco or lightly buy going into round nine. They can't really go down massively. They are going to do so. So Fallen's going to go in the scout. We're going to see a Famas out for Stewie. No kit to come through from any player on Liquid. Finally worn down a bit on the economy state. Fury up. They play at the same inner default out the lobby position. Catch off players in the opening. Frags. Vinny, however, not so successful on the ramp. Naf. Frag not even damaged up and he continues to aggress pretty silently. Doesn't see Gary. He'll catch him with the smoke. Clears though. Fantastic shot from Naf. Jeez, he's playing well, isn't he? Just out to ramp and having the coolest time in the world. Going back out to where he found that first kill. Does he may even make it a triple? Not quite. Up there with a responsive frag. The AK involved. The scout now for Forden. Looks in. It's caught back around. Another headshot. So the AKs dishing out the damage. 3v3 as the trades are good for Fury up. Is the site execution good as well? They're going to go down into B. Elise is already here. The winner's been popped out. Art catches the man. Gets a lot of damage done to him. But still gets the frag. Uh, Liquid, very difficult position for them to be in. Even on the vent drop, they could get caught off by Casey Runner just holding the position. Gets dinked up in the process. There's so much damage done to Fury, but it's still a 1v3 for Grim. Trades are available and possible. Yuri is going to be the main concern. That M4 will start sneaking in. Got to open up Decon door, make noise. Not see them. No smoke for the bomb position. It's out in the open. Burst fire. Try and hunt for them. Taps up. Trying to see if he can force him out. Burst fire continuing to try to catch these kills. Meanwhile, that third player sneaking in from Vents. Damage nades. All sorts of work being done as Art gets his kill. He closes out the round for Furia. Okay. Now we're starting to see some goods come in from the Furia side. Naf. Great advantages to start off at ramp, and you'd have to imagine that Liquid are very frustrated with that. They had a five on three advantage. They lose those ramp players really quickly. Naf falls, the scout out from Fallen can't find anything either. Even the flash forward from Hell doesn't find any sort of pickback. And for Liquid, when you're on that kind of weaponry force up and you have a five on three, you can't really be losing the round. Yeah, back to the Deagles for Liquid. Naf's on the scout this time. Not Fallen, not Stewie. Aiding the nays as the Eagles try and press the issue forwards here. Krieg in of Vinny's part. They're really trying to keep their eyes set into the entryways. Expecting Liquid aggression, but so far none of it's come forward. They will finally mull top Brim away from Hut. That's all about adequate damage in a round like this for Liquid. Yeah. Fury up. Slightly further passive in this sort of round. Okay, Serato, a pick just presents itself. 
Yeah, Naf hoping he could put that scout to effect. Now Grim's got it back in his hands, and he does put it to effect. A 13th kill for him with the headshot coming out. Deagle to Stewie, not quite as lucky. The Fallen also got to fall away. That ESP is nowhere near Deagle potential. Grim still faces, gonna catch both players off, lined up, catches Vinny, but not quite the second man. Case Serato right behind him, and not enough time to ready for the second pill. kill. So it's all over the leave. 1v3, spamming away with the Deagle. Doesn't find anything of his own, right? So two casualties for Furia. Decent damage done by Liquid. Not quite enough to force a reset, though, so as the guns come back out, it's rifle time. And they could be happy with the damage that they were able to provide themselves in that last round. Now getting the weapons forward, the AWP going to be coming through from Fallen without armor. M4 is up for everybody else. No kit in play again. Something that Liquid haven't had a massive amount of in this first half is kits. And I guess it does come down to a lot of the post planning positions that Fury have put themselves in. It doesn't even seem like a retake would really be on. Oh, out of the gates, and then a squeaky fart plays in, and just going to spray through and dish out the damage enough for a kill. Okay, so right, eventually gets down those vents in the vent dive position. Don't know if the CTs may have heard that. I don't see anyone trying to account for it down on the lower bomb site. And actually boosted up on top of the garage entrance and looks on towards Silo. Betting T side presence didn't see the heads of Vinny or Gary. Start to lean over, see them both. Perfect burst, perfect frag, another 5v3 for Liquid, and it might even extend to more. Now they've got Caserato in for the quick vent drop. At least just gets out of there so quickly. Doesn't even allow a trade to come back. Now for Caserato, he can start sandwiching in and coming up from secret to help the outside player. It all just comes down to how do they actually deal with Elise with him being this passive now? Yeah, they were waiting for Caserato's backstab to come together. Elise might swing out the left and potentially not be ready for the man. His teammate's going to come in and now they're going to realize that Caserato's there. So the plot has failed for Furia. And the bombs on outside as well. Elise caught off the player that had it. Gets a second kill on Vinny now. Swings back to the triple. Caserato giving up enough of a shoulder. Go to 23 points of health. Not quite dead yet. Furia's also been seen here by Grim. That's an easy frag. And the methodical liquid is back in business. And just... Everything falling apart on the outside position. And I start wondering to myself, Jay, how does a liege isolate three 1v1s and he's still at 100 HP? A liege magic, I'm just going to put it down to at this point here. Yeah, why not? <laughs> he's he's abracadabra his way in with 100 points of health and he's secretly healed without us knowing. <laughs> Incredible stuff from Liquid. Again, when these guys look good, man, they look good. Brim's a perfect example of that. Elish and Naf, obviously two players that were fantastic in, this, in the first map. Another Fury might have made this one a bit more of a closer deficit by comparison to the startup here. Liquid still maintaining a lead above this T-half. And when you think about some of the teams in Group D, uh, Gambit, NIP, and Tropic, they rely heavy on their AWP player. And honestly, for Liquid, they haven't needed to rely on Fallen to have a massive amount of impact. It's been the riflers that have been so consistent across both maps. Lots of anti-rush nades going down to the squeak door position. Allegis, they're going into the vents, expecting Caserato to drop early. Out of the smokes on the ladder. Just going to sit there for the time being. Try now look towards Secret, where Yuri could well be flanking the CT side. I'll make his way back outside instead. Smokes on towards the squeaky door from Stewie. He's going to keep suppression involved, but he's tried to do so. Might not have caught the players over at open. Vents is going to get caught. Stewie drops down. What can he find in this round? Okay, Serato finds Naf Stewie there with a the Grim now repositioning the rafters. And this round first, man. Line up two more, doing a ton of damage, allowing Stewie to finish the job. And Yuri will stand alone outside. Yeah, the luck. And this is what is so unfortunate in the round for Yuri is that he's got down into secret. He's trying to work some sort of default and relying on some of the upper players to find the connections, and they just aren't able to do so. Triple kill again in from Liquid. And some of these multi-frag rounds aren't coming every so often. It feels like they're coming every round. Every round for Yuri now. It's one round to clutch. Bomb is out in the open. No one's checking the hell position, not even the entryway to it. There's potential in, in him popping his head up and getting a kill, but the problem is everything else is a 1v3, and he knows, as well as anyone, his best bet is to probably save the AK. Furia pummeled into submission round after round for Liquid. A seventh up to the CT board. They maintain this lead in Furia. 
Can't seem to keep themselves going. Can't seem to uh, jump start the engines again. And this is two rounds in a row that we've seen saves just coming through from Fury, which doesn't help the T side economy at all. They're going to buy it down, try and see if they can put pressure back on for Liquid. We just saw that in the first map, once they were able to string rounds together and they gathered momentum, they just weren't being slowed down. And now, yes, we are getting to the late portion of this first half, but for Liquid, it is very possible for them to press themselves nine, even 10 rounds on the city bases. Once again, a lead with a spray through towards squeaky door. Please fight players trying to make their way into the vent side. They pop their way out to the site itself. One player is inserted into mini. Stewie sprays through and catches Kay Serato. Ah, can find a lead. Vinny going to try bait in and force Stewie back into an off angle. Now Grim stands alone. He's already defended this site so well once before, but not this time. Vinny gets his double and Nap and Fallen doubles for the save. Oh, that was excellent to come through from Fury. And even Art is thinking about hunting outside. You don't often see with a walkout from Squeed Door that you're going to push through that main smoke. And that's exactly what he does. And even with that, they start scrambling the CT players. Vinny is waiting for one of those CTs to get back out to the default position and just catch them off from Hut sleeping. Such nice and patient play from him and for Fury. Well distracted to draw their attention. Force them back into the back lines. Art's hunt does not go well to Fallen's position. And I imagine that Furia will just concede off the back of that uh, casualty. Keep the AKs in with the three individuals that have them. And the money's not quite great for Furia at the moment. Terrorists win. We start to build up the economy bases going into the last couple of rounds of this half. Liquid have money on some individuals. There's a pretty lopsided money line, so this buyback will leave Grim with not a lot. Yeah, Liquid keeping it competitive up against Furia on their map pick. And even that second half, you start to sort of wonder what Furia are going to be able to bring on their CT basis. We know that for their T side, it does get pressed a little bit further, and they do find more so decent results on this basis than they do on their CT. Just try and keep it as close as possible. Another aggressive play for Art. He gets the kill on a lead, but burns the Grimm's Molotov. The smoke in from his teammates, not able to save him here. Fallen. Set with the AWP in the back lines, Grim gifting an AUG. He's got lack of utility. He's got one smoke left. That was the second piece in his arsenal. Oh, just watching the gap and a smoke catches Yuri. Now got to reposition because the T's know where he is. But that's the one player out of the gate. Looks on towards open. Bensley, the second player, and catches Vinny as well. 19 picks for Grim at this stage. A triple up in this round. And the bomb can go down to the B side, but it's a 4v2 for Liquid. Uh, no one playing on lower. Now's going to be the first point of call in terms of rotating out from ramp. And for Guri and Kesarado, they need the unthinkable in this 2v4. They do have information of the two players coming over from Secret, so the best that they can guess is the second two players are coming in from the ramp control. Decon's open, double doors open, flashbang evaded. Headshot barely caught off by Kesarato. A good kill on Grim. Blinded by the second flashbang, catch that second CT. Gary can come in with the flank and will catch your fallen. That's a big frag alongside Kesarato dealing with Nap. Stewie's got a close down. This decomposition back turn towards the next man. 180 flicks, not going to be good enough. And indeed, Furia will find that miracle as they equalize seven apiece. Ah, oh, they just peek off each other really well. They don't initiate those fights straight away. Flash comes through, Caserato gets that first pick, and then just the attention being drawn over to double doors allows that swing out from decontamination, gets Guri involved into the mix, and once it's a 2v2, they just start working the magic, they start working the timer, and Liquid just fall apart at that lower bomb site. What a great post planning from Furia. Seven all. And fast rush out one more time for the Furious side to try to close down this half. It's Dewey still with a 5-7. Gets that one frag. A leash close with the AK as well. He's going to pop forward. He can catch Case Serato. No, Vinny's seen him and kept him at the edge of the smoke. So back to evens we go. A bit overzealous there from the liquid side. A leash going to give up the AK and the man advantage. Oh, they've got Naf aggressive out from Ram. How does he try to deal with oh. Gary? Oh, the headshot. Well, it comes in straight away. The flash comes through, gives himself an AK. So quick and clean. Counter nades involved. Naf's going to get out of dodge. So Liquid holds the four on three. Once again, an advantage for them. Can they keep it this time? It's outside plays from Furia as they scramble to find a new line in. Right, they've just got to be telling themselves, do not make over-aggressive risk. Unnecessary risk. We've got the four on three. We've got that AK picked up on Naf, who's got head armor too. And for Furia, it all just comes to potentially this outside lurk and try to cut off the player at top heart. Okay, Serato. Trying to find a swing in 45 seconds. 
Flash down, flash bang towards close vents. Okay, Serato going to take top of half where you see Stewie. Yes, he will. Tap the head off the shoulder. Back to evens again, but Fallen has other plans. Scout again involved with a headshot dealt with by Yuri. And player in the back of the site is Grim with the FAMAS. He's got it back to the advantage of Liquid. Yuri does get the trade back. Where's the last man? Where is Nath coming in from the ramp control? Did he hear a footstep? Does he just have a good read? 20 seconds. Either way, he's running out of time. It's back behind the site itself. No info still on Nath's angle. And we'll tap it again. Try force a peak. Ten, nine. Time's running out. He's got to go for the plant now. Oh, Naf has now got the element of surprise. Can start peeking forward onto the site, Yuri. Which way does he look? Left or right? It all oh. comes down to the timer. Looking back onto the lane. Oh! He jumps off as he sprays. Mouthfield up or mouthfield down. Liquid are going to make it 8 7 at the turn of the half. And you hate to see it, Jay. You absolutely <laughs> do in that situation. And he's even getting the BM out of there. Getting onto the defuse. Giving himself a couple of kills in the round. And giving Liquid the lead. 8 7 for them at the turn of the half. We go to get this pistol victory. We've got the jewelies and some uh, util coming through from Art. And for Liquid, they're actually bringing the majority of players to this outside position. Top of mini. Outside defaults involved, trying to get in towards the Hell or A site positions. Grim will force one player off angle as they fire into lockers. Bust open the windows, look for Gary Decker to find that frag, and eventually they do. Case there are not with responsive though. Two for one on the trades. Oh, the bomb gets dropped, and Grim's the last one left, and they know exactly where he is. Out in that hell position, bomb with the lower bomb site means that Grim's got to try and win a 1v4. Surely it must be impossible. We get one frag at the very least. And as great as he's been so far on eight points of health, you must imagine, this probably doesn't come together. Indeed, Yuri shuts him down, and it will be eight for the pistol round for Furia. Yeah, Liquid not having an easy time when it comes to the pistols at all. And for Furia, great opportunity for them to start to follow up. Get Gary on that XM. Liquid, without that bomb plant, you can't expect a force up. You're going to see Grim upgrade to a Deagle just because he was able to get that slight kill injection of the, of the Glocks in that last round. Other than that, though, that is all we're seeing in round 17. Pretty much. Liquid. Walking up towards the lobby positions. Going for a hard stack to the A site, rush it down. Try and avoid the SMGs if at all possible. And the AUG of Yuri catches Grim. So that's a start towards the outside position. But again, Liquid all stacked up here in the upper positions of the lobby anchor, uh, uh, angles. Bit of a weird little T side stack. I've never seen this one before. Hey, you're just waiting for aggression, aren't you? Just cube stacking and hoping that they aggress out from Hart, hoping they aggress out from Squeak Door, and it just doesn't seem to happen at all. Now, with Grim going aggressive outside by himself and losing that Deagle, it means that for Liquid, there is no way they're going to be able to pick that up. So just waste the timer. When it gets low, just dive out. Hope you can keep drawing utility. And if you can get a bomb plant, great. It's going to be difficult, though. No matter where they go, they've got to deal with money-making weapons. The SMGs on the A-Site Crossfire, XM1014 out towards ramp. They made noise on the ladder, so they realize that Liquid have gone back upstairs. They may be playing towards the outside position. r has got a USP, which might not be the best weapon here, even if he is up against the anti-eco and the lack of Kevlar is involved in the T-Side line. One player is to be jumps right in like Batman in case the artist still cleans up with a triple and a quadra. Three kills of the SMG and a lead gain now for Furia. I'm sure that Gay Serrano is going to be hungry for that ace. Gets a four in the last. He's had three aces so far in the Pro League season. I saw one of them up against NIP on Ancient, one on Inferno, and on Mirage against Team One. So he might get one over the course of this game today. We buy in for the Liquid side. AKs across the T boards. And they get involved. For their own right. Oh, good nice back of Liquid. I don't know how that happened. Did that hit like a pixel gap on the uh, on on the pavement, like the curb? That was a really really weird slope there. The CT side. Well, it's still going to create a bit of an angle for Yuri to work with. Finds the Legion, kicks things off. Uh, just what they're looking for, and even the AWP outside. Not going to take any pop shots through the smoke. They're instead going to swap it over to give Yuri, the low HP player, the AWP. Nav, hoping that he can strike out from this ramp position because there is an XM in close. Gary standing by. Grim and Nath to find. Oh, the swing from the AK does not allow it to get anything. 4v4 and the nade to follow suit on Yuri. Orp dealt with a hell and such well placements there from the Liquid side. Four on three. And down in B site. Jeez, they've recovered this well, haven't they? 
Great take out from that ramp position. And for Art, he is just desperate for a frag back rim. Oh, makes it another. And Fury are just getting picked apart individually now. A four on two, Liquid. Holding their own. Finney and Caserato. Hoping for presence, seeing the head of the one man. Caserato looking for Fallen. Chant transfer it back towards Stewie. He'll try anyway. And then the Grimm's on site. Stewie catches off Vinny. So Caserato with no real opportunities but to grab that AK. Probably save it. Go back upstairs. Hold on to a gun and give the knife back to Liquid. And that is frustrating when you think of the advantage that Furia had in that situation. The orb outside, striking onto the first, being able to swap the weapon over. Yuri doing well to find that first kill. And then from there, the nade placement out to hell. Even the peak from Grim onto Gary with that XM is everything. And Liquid, they make it tied up. Caserato's just got to make sure he holds onto this AK. Yeah, not much left for him in this round, so again, hold on to a gun. Concede that knife back to Liquid as they equalize against Furia one more time. And do not allow this CT side to get going. And the lack of money really is going to be important. The fact that that AK can stay in, he can drop the AWP over to Art Caserato. Still rock the AK, M4 in for Yuri, less than likely for Vinny, depending on if he's got the A4 or the A1S. Goes for Fumas with the utility and Gary on Deagle. So damage done in pretty heavy amounts of Fury up. The second buyback, not quite as good. Uh, importance is slight on round 19, because otherwise Liquid could really start being able to spiral up a control, start building up a streak on their T side. Boost is going to come through for the M4 out from ramp. Some early until outside is going to allow Fallen to lurk. Ah, oh, gets downstairs as Fallen looks into the secret control. The AWP could challenge him directly. Depends on how much info they heard here. How much does Art believe in progressing in that position? And we just hold the entryway. I think it's just going to be holding the entryway here. So back passive, waiting for even the doorway to come forward for Liquid. But they are lucky with that outside cross into secret. There was a gap in one of those cross smokes and there was no CT to punish. Fuller has got to try and bait out the AWP if he wants to continue forward. No util to support him. Gives up the angle and Art gets the kill. Gives up nothing for the CT side. Start for Fury up. And all the rest of the players of Liquid are in the lobby control. Will they go to A? It looks like they might do. And Lee's starting to pop his head out of the door. Look in for Vinny in the back. Does get a dig against his name. Look onto the second player. It's not quite as lucky for the second kill. Naf now being aggressed by Caserato. That's phrase forward of the smoke. Big gap in that smoke for the AK to utilize. And Naf has no idea. Simple now to drop the bomb. Continue to spray back the Stewie 2K. As Caserato gets his own 2K. And Grim. Well, left with it all to do here. As great as he's been, it's still too much. T side on the A side, overwhelmed as Fury up, find 10. Uh, just that slight gap in the smoke was all the punishment that Fury needed to just overwhelm that round. And for Elise, they're just thinking to themselves, okay, let's walk out from Squeak Door, try and catch them off guard and just overwhelm A. And K Serato's just having none of that. What a performance he is having on both map one and on map two. 23 kills and nine deaths. It does pose the question. That was the case. Liquid still hanging in there, though. 10 9, a single round difference. Deagle's out of the half by round. Liquid have lost bonus to fall back on. Let's see where they go in round 20. Now, at the same time, the conversation could be made about Grim over on Liquid having a great performance himself. Where's the support True. coming out for him? And Liquid just hoping to do some further damage up on the eco itself. Smoke coming down to that mini position. These AKs trying to spam through. We'll find some connection for damage on the grip. Yuri getting paranoid of the outside control. Not sure if Liquid had crossed out towards Garage. They have now. Took some damage and now focuses on the A side defensive itself. Art hearing the scout deals with Naf. Great opener. At least just clearing out this heaven position the best that he can. Could drop down onto the orb, but it all just comes down to a matter of timing on where Gary repositions to. Could get caught offside. They know exactly where he is. Deagle spam of Elise. Still can't connect the frag. Art finds three. Elise just find one pick back. Can't quite deal with a second. Actually, he does get Yuri in the end. So three on two. Player up in the rafters, drops with the defuse kit there. Got plenty of others for the CT side, and the rest of the pistol start going, falling down. Fallen will be the last player to fall. Three frags, Vinny, in that round. Furia hold 11 over Liquid.
Yeah, not much success coming into Liquid in the second half on their T side. They've managed that one round. And other than that, that's all that they've found. Got to wonder when they're going to be able to bounce back. Double orbs coming through on for Gary and for Art. Now, even in that last one, the Leech doing work in with the Deagle, getting away with a couple of kills, trying to keep the economy low. There is reset potential on a couple of individuals from Furia. Double orbs with a heavy investment. Gonna come up good here for the CT side. Flashes involved. They look down range. Art's own orb gets back towards secret. Expecting there to be some outside presence as Kesarara sprays through with the squeaky door. The lead popping forward of Mini gets Kesarara. Takes a lot of damage alongside Grim here. So Mini's got a couple of decent kills back. Drops on top of one player's head. Doubles up. Can't find Grim who lines up two more. And the bomb does go down. Gary's got to get out of dodge. No way for this clutch. The orb's got to save. Jeez, what is going on in that round? There is so much firefighting going on and just players flying through. Vinny just getting lined up. And even though he gets a couple of kills, it's Grim on the return who's able to answer back, bring the disadvantage back in their favor and give Liquid up their 10th. Grim is having probably one of the best new performances we've seen from him. That's 26. Now he's up to close to that 30 bomb. And with how many rounds we've got to play still, even if Fury were able to take the next five. Grim could still find himself on 30. Truly a remarkable performance from him. The Reaper in a full effect for Liquid. As once again, they bring us back within one. Fury just can't seem to break away. They can't seem to gain a definitive lead here. And that's the concerning factor for Fury on their map pick where success should be the most is that They've got to be pulling ahead. They've got to be able to start pushing this lead further than a couple of rounds here or there. Now, even on the buyback to support the double orbs, there's not really a massive amount behind it. Liquid, this is a great chance for them to tie up the scoreline. Molotov's on, AWP's out, a leash. It's AK looking back into the cubby corner. We're going to continue pressing forward. In the outside control, okay, Serratos, AUG set back, Elige. Gonna make a hell of a lot of noise here and take some damage to that Molotov. The CTs might be aware of what's going on. Yeah, very silent. You've got to wonder how quick this rap is going to be coming in and how this crossfire is going to get set up. Molotov's a credit card, okay, Serrato going to get a bit more aggressive here in Garage. Stewie does get caught with his knife down, not expecting that player to be so close. Art with the AWP, frags on a leash, 5v3, Fury up. So far, untraded and unscathed, and the right rifles are coming at the right time. Splashbang's back in. Ah, what more can he get? Land on Fallen, try to look for Grim. He's a little bit too late to risk going back in. And Yuri catches Nap on the upstairs. Now it's down to the downstairs. Players, and Gary still gets caught. So, 3v2, rifles to play with for Fury. The bomb plant will come in for Fallen. Yeah, he's going to go quite aggressive, knowing that he's on 20 points of health. It's going to come down to Grim to just be able to bait the crossfire. And there's a lot of footsteps being heard out at Ramp. Yeah, Fallen Soul will be in, so he knows that there's three sets. He knows that there's three players out here, so Grim can start taking face. C1 player, awkward spray comes up. Good for his 3k. Like after Ace clutches once again, he's got high HP. Cannot see Vinny. The kit's on him, bombing the opening sprays forward. Ah, oh, the kill is not coming on the first player, let alone the transfer to the second. And the defuse will come out for Furia instead as they claim 12. Uh, nice try. That's a good effort coming into Grim. They will get that defuse forward, be able to recover that orb. Can they get over to the second in time? No, they're just going to go for the org instead. Oh, man. That is a close one. Furia making so much noise out from ramp. And knowing as well that Fallen is only on 20 points of health, it makes that retake just so much more doable for Furia, even with the man advantage in the 3v2. Grim did such a great effort right there for him. 1v3 was a bit too far. Nades up, flashes over, Elige. Playing into the outside, Stewie caught off by Yuri again towards the outside control. Brilliant stuff to deal with these outside aggressive players from Liquid. No trades involved with the T-side. Elige is going to get quite far up forward in this, but Yuri still gets his pick. Two kills found. Uh, that should have been a trade back for Elige, and Yuri just holds his ground. Gary with the AWP out from ramp. Could get overwhelmed by a couple of players. Deals with that first player, Grim. And Fury off. They looks like they're going to speed their way onto 13. Fallen gets a trade outside, but he's going to get swung on from Garage, and everything's falling apart. Nap gets one kill. No more than that. Tries to get one more back on Vinny with a face out, but 
Tim with one frag, Gary with another. Yuri with three kills in that round. Now he's starting to really step up here to join Vinny on the top frag or second top fragger position for their squad. 13 to 10, and Furia finally might find the breakaway moment, might finally end off this cycle of cat and mouse. Three rounds to get the map in their back pocket to secure the likes of Nuke, to secure the third map in the series. Liquid down to the pistols, Tech Nines and Eagles. Yeah, not enough bomb plans for Liquid and not enough consistency in the second half is hurting them the most. Just trying to work a timing on a rotation onto our out from ramp. The Deagles are posted. AUG is watching and bursting forward here for Art. Hearing footsteps, not seeing the T-side flare, interestingly enough, but still can catch off the frag on Stewie. Not quite the same of a fall, and Grimm's also fallen into the hands of Yuri earlier on, and Lee just caught a secondary pick, so three on three. Workable for Liquid, but by how much? Hey, you start to wonder. Now, the bomb hasn't been dropped. No one's got armor, which is going to make the aim punch difficult with these rifles. A case rider is even looking back in out from credit card. Doesn't take any damage in the fight at all onto a leech. Naf is waiting for an overextension, an overpeak. Naf. Double dip. Sees Kesarato. A beautiful shot with the Deagle. But Vinny's on his own counter back up with his own eagle play. Sees the player, two taps, bomb dropped, fallen. One on two, heard towards hell. Gary's got a USP out because that might be enough without the Kevlar for fallen eagle involved. The AWP doesn't even take a pistol shot. Not even need a scope. Straight shot, down, kill, 14 to 10 now for Furia. Liquid starting to let this map slip away. Yeah. For sure they are. And for Liquid, they'll be happy with the damage. There's been a couple of rounds on this second half where the Ecos have actually come through very successful. It's just that rounds are not being posted. Down by a deficit of four. Furia need two more to take it over. And knowing that they've got an AK to work with from Vinny, these double orbs and some limited money in the bank, things do look very promising for the, for the Brazilians going into the second half. AUG of Yuri. On the outside position, the incendiary set. Stewie. Some from the outside as Art starts to press the issue. Will he catch a leash? Yes, he will. He's been so great at this secret control. Passive or aggressive. They all fall to him in the end. Advantage Fury up. Minute and 20. Another opening amount of advantage without any sort of support trade back from Liquid. Trying to set themselves up for an upper take. It's going to have to come down to the entries again out from Squeak Door. SRR is watching with the M4 bearing down upon. That ah, squeaky door. The door's been busted open. He's got two more CTs to back him up here. Got to watch those other entryways in Mini in the hut position, which means it's basically all players need to hold their own. Molotov will drive Kesarato off of this one for the vent. Dies. Still Nath gets caught with a crossfire. Kesarato credited with the kill. Falling with a fire lay back in, but Art still finds his man. And Gary now looks for his own little pick. Sees the one individual. Not quite as great against Grim. Hears him coming. Flicks back. USP against Ring of Ring of Roses. Grim can get that kill. They now know where he is, and they know where Stewie must be as well. There's only one player at this lower bomb site. They've got to try and get this trade onto Art. They've got to molly out to the back corner if they can place it right. Smoke to give a better cover. Stewie going to start working in from the observation window. Art in the corner. He's got to land the perfect opening kills, and that's got to be it. Sees Grim gets his frag. Where's Stewie? Right above him. Little does he know. Drop in. The AK can get a frag back and get a bomb plant. Her rotation's coming in quickly out for the vent and out from Ram. Stewie's going to get the bomb down, so at least he's got that much. Needs to isolate the fights and takes it straight away onto Vinny. Can't quite win it out. Fury getting up to 15. And Liquid just getting caught off. What a hold in from Art. A great multi-kill from him. And it all started off from him in secret. And a map point to set up a great recovery. Feel enough for Liquid to try and get it to OT and get another five rounds. Default utility out here. Liquid trying to play towards outside. Arts or repositioning to the silo position. Still looking towards outside of the spokes. Art up in an angle. Will he check for Stewie? Will he blind fire on Grim? Will he look out towards Mini? He won't see anything thus far. Liquid doing a decent enough job so far at keeping CTs at bay. Yeah, Art just scanning, trying to wait for the smoke to bloom. And oh my goodness, that's the bomb getting dropped. That's the best that they could ask for. 
from Fallen to come back against Yuri, however, clap back to a 4v4. Gap and Outsmoke to work with Vaughn K. Serato, gonna cross fire and deal with Fallen and the Liege. Stewie and Nav bombing the open, seeing the player behind Blue Box, can't get attached towards him, just burst fire and damage being done, and Art K 